the best desserts in every state 50 state favorites really enjoyed checking out these food videos this time dessert video we're gonna see what the best dessert is in every state so if you guys are from these states let me know and confirm it in the comments is it the best dessert if not let me know down below what you guys think is the best dessert in your state but yeah let's jump straight into this and check out some desserts Oh, this From is going to make me so to hungry. Cream pie. Here is each state's favorite dessert. What we got? Lane cake was made the official state dessert of Alabama in 2016. What is that? It typically includes pecans, coconut flakes, raisins, and a generous amount of bourbon. Yeah, we don't have pecan in the UK. I've never heard of it, like never seen it or anything. But yeah, interesting. It's, it's like, it's, I know it's not, but it's like chocolate or not. Indigenous people would mix seal oil, animal fat, fish, berries, or other available ingredients to fish in a dessert. Make a guduk. A modern adaptation of the recipe uses vegetable shortening instead of animal fat and adds sugar. This huh? idea is a cross between Latin American fried pastry and Navajo fry bread. This fried pastry can be served savory or sweet. To serve it as a dessert, drizzle honey or sift powdered sugar on top. Okay. Possum pie can be found at diners Make and it restaurants sweet. throughout Arkansas. Its layers consist of a crust, a cream cheese mixture, chocolate pudding, and whipped cream. Ooh. Donut shops are a quintessential part of California. Oh, yeah. Give me a donut. Wait, which, which donut are you guys picking right here? I'm going to say... I'm going to go for this one. I've been this one right here. Whether you like them plain, over the top, or packed to the brim... Oh, there's no way. There's no way you're having that. Oh, that's going to be so sickly. That is going to be so sickly. Packed to the brim. You're guaranteed to find one you like here. Duffy rolls are extremely popular in Denver. They look like cinnamon rolls, but are lighter and have a flakier texture. Ooh. The Snickerdoodle is a classic cinnamon sugar cookie. Snickerdoo what? Snickerdoodle. But cream of tartar is the key ingredient to a true classic snickerdoodle. This is good. Peach pie is Delaware's state dessert. In the 19th century, Delaware was the country's leading producer of peaches. Even today, residents love making and eating the state dessert. Fair enough. Key lime pie is synonymous with Florida. The pie filling consists of key lime juice, sweetened condensed milk, and egg yolk. Is that not a cheesecake? Restaurants and home bakers alike love making peach cobblers in Georgia. To make it extra special, add ice cream on top. That looks shaved good. Shaved ice is an iconic dessert in Hawaii. A block of ice is shaved and then drizzled with rainbow syrups. You can add toppings such as azuki bean paste or condensed milk. Wait, wait, wait. So you guys are just having like ice, po big ice poles, just ice? Just big ice? It may look like a potato, but it's actually ice cream. Huh? Ice cream potato can be found at Boise's West Side Drive-In. I can't lie. I can't lie. It looks good. Yeah, this is good. It does look like a potato, but this is so good. The ice cream potato can be found at Boise's West Side Drive-In. Vanilla ice cream is shaped like a potato and dusted in cocoa powder. Then it's topped with whipped cream, Oreos, and peanuts. So weird. Popcorn became the Illinois state snack food in 2004. Here Bro, who doesn't like popcorn? Is there anyone that actually doesn't like popcorn? Popcorn. Oh, yeah. Bro, I can have popcorn whenever. You, you just give me popcorn at any time of the day whenever I'm eating it. Popcorn serves as popcorn fresh to customers and can make anywhere from 30 Ooh. to 150 batches every day. Popular flavors include caramel crisp, cheese corn, and a mix of the two. Wait, you actually put cheese on your popcorn? Popular flavors include caramel crisp, Aye, caramel crisp sounds so good. I'll have that one. Cheese corn. Yo, I don't know who's putting cheese on that popcorn, but that... <laughs> you guys actually like cheese on your popcorn? Oh. And a mix of the two. The Indiana sugar cream pie is a regional specialty, characterized by its buttery crust and rich vanilla custard filling. The Why is it blue? originated from the Amish and Shaker communities that settled in Indiana in the 1800s. Lamar's, Iowa is the ice cream capital of the world. Ooh. Home to the Blue Bunny Ice Cream Parlor and Museum, you can find over 50 ice cream sculptures throughout the city. Wow. Frozen custard is a oh. denser, creamier version of ice cream. It has pasteurized egg yolk, which gives it smoother texture. That is good. Sheridan specializes in frozen custards and has seven locations in Kansas and Missouri. Get it in a cone or a cup and make sure to add toppings. 
Oh. Bourbon balls are a sweet and boozy delight. The bite-sized confection is made of Kentucky bourbon-soaked pecans, butter, and powdered sugar, and then dipped in chocolate. You like your pecans? Yum. Yeah, they look good. No Louisiana trip is complete without trying beignets at Café du Monde. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Have I just tuned into a French show? Beignet de Café du Monde. Square-shaped pieces of dough are deep-fried and generously sprinkled with powdered sugar. The blueberry pie, made with wild Maine good. blueberries, became the state dessert in 2011. Maine is one of the world's top suppliers of wild blueberries. Makes Not sense. to be confused with cultivated blueberries. Wild blueberries are smaller and have a sweeter and tangier taste. The Smith Island cake is a layered cake named after Smith Island in Chesapeake Bay. Traditionally, it consists of eight to 10 layers of cake with frosting between each layer. Eight to 10 layers of cake? Uh, li listen, I, I do like dessert. I don't always opt for dessert like after dinner, right? But I do like a dessert every now and again. Like even right now I have Domino's cookies in the other room that I'm gonna destroy. But 10 layers of cake? Bruh. The Boston cream pie is a decadent cake filled with custard or cream and the chocolate glaze is a must. It's also the Massachusetts yeah. state dessert. Michigan is well known for its Mackinac Island Love fudge. fudge. Visitors can watch it being poured onto a marble slab and worked into solid fudge as it cools and hardens. That would be so satisfying just to watch. I'd go there, watch, eat, watch, eat, watch, eat, then leave. While a muffin may be considered more of a breakfast food, you can certainly eat it for dessert. Muffins are nice. Especially since Minnesota State Muffin is the blueberry muffin. The Mississippi Mud Pie is a rich, chocolatey dessert. The pie consists of a chocolate crust, one to three layers of chocolate, and a whipped cream topping. Oh, yes. The gooey butter cake is a St. Louis original. It has a yellow cake bottom with a cream cheese, egg, and powdered sugar filling. Huckleberry pie is a favorite dessert in Montana. Huckle Huckleberry what? Huckleberries are grown in the northwestern U.S., especially in the mountainous parts of Montana. They're sweet and tart, similar to blueberries, and perfect for a dessert pie. Cause I've ever had a huckleberry, but they look nice. The the sweeter the better. I love my fruit. I actually I really love my fruit. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll try that. I'll definitely try that. The kolache is a pastry roll popular in the Midwest and Texas. Soft dough is filled with cream cheese or fruit. It originated uh, in Eastern Europe and was brought to the U.S. in the 1800s. You can find chocolate treats all over Nevada at chocolate shops. Or that would give me a heart attack. That would actually, I, I wouldn't be able to eat this. That would actually give me a heart attack. All over Nevada at chocolate shops. Oh, do you know what it looks like? It looks like the cake that Matilda got in Matilda. Do you know what I'm on about? Chocolate treats all over Nevada at chocolate shops or all you can eat buffets. Las Vegas also has one of the largest chocolate fountains in the world oh. at the Bellagio at 27 feet tall. Cider donuts are a New England favorite, especially in the fall. New Hampshire is home to many apple orchards, including the oldest continuously operating one in America. Hey, listen, I love apples. I love donuts. Combine the two. Heaven. Apple Crest Farms. Saltwater taffy is a sweet treat you can enjoy on many New Jersey boardwalks. What is that? It's made by mixing and stretching corn syrup, sugar, and butter. There are dozens of flavors to enjoy, including vanilla, strawberry, and bubblegum. Why is it so big? Biscochitos are New Mexico state cookie. The anise flavored- Hold on, I wanna try that. Hold on, I have to. New Mexico's New Mexico- Biscochito. Bis, bischoquito. Our New Mexico state cookie. That's my shit. Chinese flavored shortbread cookie is often eaten at special celebrations, like weddings, baptisms, and holidays. This recipe was influenced by locals and immigrants from other Hispanic countries. I like a shortbread. New York style cheesecake is characterized by its dense and rich texture, made possible by using lots of cream cheese and extra eggs and egg yolks. It's great by itself, but putting strawberries on- Listen, I love cheesecake, right? But- I seen a cheesecake without the base. Listen, I'm telling you right now, cheesecake has to have a base. It should be illegal without the base, right? I went to a place in the UK and I ordered cheesecake and it came with no a biscuit base. I was like, what? It, oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. It needs the base always. The top adds an extra sweet flavor. Sweet potato pie is a Southern classic. 
But instead of empty calories, this pie is filled with mashed sweet potatoes, which are full of fiber and vitamin A. Interesting. The krumkaka is a Norwegian waffle cookie. While it's still hot, the cookie is rolled into a cone and can be filled with cream. It was brought oh. to the Midwest by Scandinavian immigrants. That looks good. Buckeyes are peanut butter balls dipped in chocolate. Ooh. They're meant to resemble the nut of the buckeye tree, which is Ohio's state tree. Our buckle mountain fried pies are famous throughout Oklahoma. These handheld treats are perfect for on the go, and there are over a dozen flavors to choose from, including chocolate and cherry. Ooh. This is just add chocolate, melt chocolate in the middle of anything, and I'll eat it. Pie is an Oregon favorite. The Marion Berry was created by Oregon State University and the U.S. Department of Agriculture in a berry developing partnership in the early 1900s. Amish people in Pennsylvania invented the whoopie pie. Whoopie pie. Marshmallow fluff or buttercream is sandwiched between two pieces of cake-like cookies. The doughboy is... Yeah, they look good. They look good. Similar to a Zeppeli, but local to Rhode Island. It starts out as a flattened pizza dough, and then it's deep fried and topped with powdered sugar. Kind of like donuts. Coconut cake is a must-have in the South. It's made up of coconut cake, coconut frosting, and... <laughs> I thought she was going to stop there. Yo, yo, hey guys, coconut cake is made out of coconut cake. Sick. And covered with toasted coconut flakes. The word coconut everything. roughly translates to cake in German. The pastry has a dough crust and custard and fruit filling. German immigrants brought it to South Dakota in the 1880s. Uh... Banana pudding consists of layers of vanilla wafers, pudding, and bananas. The Is that egg in its shell just on the edge? What? Simple but delicious dessert. Is oh, no, it's not. It's <laughs> Yo, tell, listen, that looks like egg with the shell. Just please. You, you can't say it doesn't, but it's not. It's not. It's like some biscuit thing. Layers of vanilla wafers, pudding, and bananas. The simple but delicious dessert is a southern wafers. staple. There's even a national banana pudding festival held in Centerville, Tennessee annually. You know what? I'd actually really like that. Because I do you know what I really love? I don't know if you guys had it in America. Banana custard. So it's just like the banana, as you see here. And then you just put custard all in a bowl and mix it. Oh. Yeah, it's so good. It's so nice. Texans love their pecan pie. Pecan so much again. They made it the state pie. You can find the nutty treat at restaurants, dessert shops, and many family gatherings. I want to know what it tastes like. I've heard a lot about pecan pie, or like just pecans in general, right? I want to know what it tastes like. Jello is like Utah's nuts. state snack food. It's popular among the state's large Mormon population. To make it a sweeter treat, add whipped cream on top. Oh, yes. Nothing warms the heart and stomach like apple pie. I love apple pie and custard. Oh, apple cap. Oh, it's so good. Do you guys add custard on apple pie as well? Sliced Vermont apples are placed inside a pie crust with a lattice top and baked to perfection. Oh, it's so Virginians good. Virginians love their chest pie. The simple huh? pie is made up of flour, butter, sugar, and eggs. And on occasion, an acid, such as vinegar, buttermilk, or lemon juice. Just fine. While the Nanaimo bar is Canadian by birth, it was made popular in the U.S. by Starbucks, whose headquarters are in Seattle. This no-bake dessert bar is decadent and delicious. While invented was it? Tell me, was it? The bar is Canadian by birth. It was made popular in the U.S. by Starbucks, whose headquarters are in Seattle. Like I see chocolate. See, like some kind of cream, some like basic kind of layer. Well, what's, what's this in the middle? Like this like a uh, green lime looking thing. This no-bake dessert bar is decadent and delicious. While invented by the Pennsylvania Dutch, the shoe fly pie is very popular in West Virginia. Why does it look like it's got sand on the top of it? Like, why does this look like sand? <laughs> While invented by the Pennsylvania Dutch, the shoe fly pie is very popular in West Virginia. The star of the decadent pie is molasses. There's even an annual West Virginia Molasses Festival in Arnoldsburg. It looks like sun. Cream puffs are a popular dessert in the Wisconsin State Fair. Oh, the they look good. The pastry is piled high with cream and extremely fun to eat. Love me a cream. Cowboy cookies are packed with a bunch of flavors and textures. This cookie can take... Bro, why does that cookie look so good? Cowboy... Like, like, the more gooey the cookie... The... Oh. Cowboy cookies are packed with a bunch of flavors and textures. This cookie contains chocolate, pecans, coconut, pecans oats, and cinnamon. Oh, I say. This cookie contains chocolate, pecans, coconut, oats, and cinnamon. Oats. While they aren't states, here are the favorite desserts in Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico. 
cupcakes reign supreme in Washington, D.C. Local favorites are Georgetown Cute. Cupcake and Baked and Wired. Juan is a popular cupcake. I can't lie. That was, a, it, it, was that meant to look like a plant? Because that was really looking like a plant. Georgetown Cupcake and Baked and Wired. This right here, boom. You got the soil, the... See, I don't know what plant it looks like, but I just seen this and it looked like a plant pot kind of soil. You know, when you take like a plant out of a plant pot, that's why I kind of, this don't really look like a plant. So yeah, I'm taking back my claim. <laughs> this is like soil. Juan is a popular custard dessert in Puerto Rico and other Spanish speaking countries and territories. What foods do you think we should cover next? Really good dessert video. I want a dessert. To be fair, I have cookies in your room. So thank God I do. Otherwise, I'd be craving a dessert. Let me know which dessert is your favorite. Let me know if they are the state favorites as well. Great video. Enjoy that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. Grab for more content. Live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.